we continue forward with coverage of the bizarre activity of, as sad as this is in exiting my mouth, a former president, specifically Trump's truth social activity. And I get that he is panicked, terrified about the fact that he very soon could be getting indicted, arrested, and walked in to the courthouse in regard to the Stormy Daniels hush money payment, or more importantly, his attempts to overturn the 2020 election. But still, I can't explain his bizarre social media activity. We've looked at a lot of his rants, but now I have for you a couple videos he's released that are just strange. I, I think when Trump is going through a hard time, he needs someone to tell him, you're the best, Donnie. You're the man. You're the big man. Your daddy's favorite boy or something of the sort, because this is a video I'm assuming he found somewhere else and sent out on True Social and uh, we'll watch this, a hype video for him to make sure he feels good. And then we'll get to a second video that's rather strange as well. The test of a man is how much he will bear for a cause which he knows to be right. How long will he stand in the depths of despair? How much will he suffer and fight? There are many to serve when the victory is near, and few are the hurts to be borne. But it calls for a leader of courage to cheer the men in a battle for all. It is the way you hold out against odds that are great that proves what your courage is worth. It is the way that you stand to the bruises of fate that shows up your... Doesn't this seem a little bit like an in-memorial video. <laughs> it's very strange. Thatcher and girth. And victory is nothing but proof of your skill, veneered with a glory that's thin. Unless it is a proof of unfaltering will, and unless you have suffered to win. What a hero. What a champion for America. Um, okay. And then we get to this talking point and we'll look at his video. Then I'll show you some other people echoing this talking point that he's very fond of and many others defending Trump are very fond of, which is the investigators, those who possibly could hold Trump accountable legally are not actually going for Trump. They're only going after Trump because he's standing in the way of them going after you. It's not about his possible criminal violations it's really him standing strong against the persecution of MAGA and uh, this is something we've heard a lot from him I'm the only thing standing between the American dream and total anarchy madness and chaos and that's what it is I'm representing you I'm just here always remember they are coming after me because I am fighting for you that's what's happening and on the screen, it says, they're not after me. They're after you. I'm just in the way. See, inter interesting point in the sense that it makes no sense. <laughs> because, hmm, as long as your followers haven't committed crimes, then whatever happens to you through this investigation, whatever the outcome ends up being, their life is not going to be impacted other than someone they like possibly um, being you know convicted of something uh if they're good they're not committing crimes then no no one's going after them as far as investigators and this has nothing to do with them it has to do with you but it's not just trump saying stuff like this here's lauren bobert president trump says it all the time and i will say it in his place tonight they are not after president donald j trump they are after the american people but he is in the way that's right is it? Is it right, sir? Uh, no one's explained to me how that makes any sense. Before we continue to discuss, though, here is Republican Representative Elise Stefanik. So yeah. they use the weaponization of these, uh, whether it's the DA's office or the federal government and uh, federal agencies to go after uh, innocent Americans. So I think it's really the epitome of the work that we're doing on this select subcommittee on the weaponization of the federal government, because if they can go after President Trump, they can go after you. They can go after any American. Yeah. So they yeah. use. Let me say this as clearly as possible as a response to her point. 
if you've committed crimes, yes, they can go after you. I thought it was the Republican Party who was for law and order. If you have not committed crimes, then you don't need to be concerned with them coming after you. It is so strange. I don't even know what that means. If they can go after Trump, they can go. No, they always are able to go after the little guy. It's stunning, finally, that someone as wealthy, influential, powerful as Trump is actually possibly going to be held accountable legally. And what they won't say is the point they actually are making, the underlying point, which is if you're as powerful or notable or influential, a presidential candidate, a former president as Trump, you just shouldn't be able to be held accountable legally. That's what they're saying. Now, they won't say that. They won't be honest in the narrative they're pushing and just say that. And also, they won't even be consistent in that narrative because how often are they calling for um, Biden to be investigated for all these different things? And how many members of MAGA would love to see Biden locked up for something that there isn't evidence for? Um, so every which way, this makes absolutely no sense, but it's a very popular talking point um, as you will continue to witness. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get the extra bonus show on Saturdays, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. Link in the description.